I've had a lot of requests to make a response about the cotton ceiling, so um, I've picked a YouTuber who's constantly banging on about the cotton ceiling, trying to justify it. This person does think it's women's obligation to um, validate the identity of trans women and just give up boundaries. I'm just going to go through some of the points that they're making and um, dissect them a little bit. A trans woman's identity as a woman would be respected within the lesbian community up until the point of a romantic or sexual relationship was being considered, at which point um, the lesbian would say, sorry, not interested in trans women. So a relationship wasn't being considered then? If you don't view trans women as women, um, regardless of their operative status. Regardless of their operative status. Whatever you do, don't look at hashtag girl deck. Otherwise, you might be traumatized for life. You don't actually think of trans women as women at all. Woman is defined as an adult human female. Female is defined by her sexual reproductive organs. A homosexual is defined by their attraction to the same biological sex you can't just say well it's only in relationships that i'm not attracted to you how we like to sing along though the words are wrong it really 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 could happen but otherwise you're you're a real woman uh because that doesn't work if you accept the mantra trans women are women lesbianism doesn't exist the biggest criticism of the cotton ceiling is that you can't tell me who to be attracted to. Trying to shame lesbians for being lesbian is obviously intrinsically homophobic and misogynistic. Indeed, we're not seeing trans women targeting heterosexual men. And so a lot of people say, well, I'm just not attracted to transgender people. It's to do with the fact that you're male. Basing that off of the fact that you think all transgender people are the same is, uh, Kind of wrong. The fact that no one can recognise that women have the right to set sexual boundaries without being called transphobic or hashtag turf dating, that is rape culture. If your reason for not dating any transgender person is because of their trans status, that doesn't mean you're not transphobic because you are. Everyone has the right to turn down the sexual partner or a whole section of society for whatever reason they see fit without being attacked or vilified or shamed for it. Fucking liberal feminists justifying this in every university all over the UK. The one place you would expect to be able to go and be accepted for being lesbian is your LGBT sock. That's no more. That's gone. Thanks to the NUS, young lesbians coming into an atmosphere that's actually hostile towards them. I'm gonna keep on making videos about the cotton ceiling because everybody else it's not a lesbian's job to fuck you subscribe watch my video there's no such thing as a lesbian with a penis if you want to have more of an insight into the problem at hand people promoting this ideology in every university union pretty much all over the country so get in touch with the nus skeptics vote disaffiliate sign up petition in the description support lesbians donate to my patreon